Hello friend, welcome back. There's a very important update for all the extension user, those who load the extension through automation in their automated browser window. So like if you are uh, loading extension through Selenium in your automated browser window, then this is an important update. From Chrome 137 onwards, you won't be able to load the extension in the browser through Selenium or through any automation API because they have deprecated this test test load extension API. So you won't be able to do that in the stable version. So like what happened, like currently what you used to do. So first, like I will start from the scratch that when you open default browser through automation, this is a Java Selenium example I'm taking here. You might be using something else as well. So that's absolutely okay. So you see by default, when you run the code, you won't be able to see the extension here any extension even though the extensions are installed lots of extensions are installed in my browser but none of them is here when we run the code through selenium okay what you were doing currently like you used to write the code like chrome options and then in the options you used to pass the argument and then uh, like file path of uh, this uh, extension crx file or the file folder and then that you used to use options here as a argument or uh, as a parameter here for Chrome driver and then it used to open the browser with the extension but that will not happen now anymore let me show you what will happen like this is the piece of code let me just show you directly so you used to we used to write this Chrome options then options add argument and we used to pass the uh, file path the basically extension file path and then we pass this option argument here Okay, and then we run this. So currently, like uh, when this is not 137, less than 137, this used to work. Like if you run the code, it used to load the extension in the automated browser window here, and you were able to see the extension option here. But right now you see that we don't have the option. Like in this automated browser window, if I open this Chrome double forward slash extension, there are no extension here. So this has been deprecated. Why? Because this is a stable Chrome browser which default like it get open in our system okay now if you have to get the extension in the automated browser window what you will have to do you will have to use uh, the chromium or any other like you you see that here they have mentioned developers can still use load extension switch in non branded builds such as chromium and chrome for testing so what is the stable version right now this is 137 so if you will <coughs> try to use some other version like let's say 138 then it will be uh, like there it will work or you can use chromium or chrome for testing so how you can get that in selenium so there is a options they have given in selenium you can directly just set the options like in this chrome options you have the uh, method here set browser version so you can set the browser version now here simply a uh, very simple thing you have to do you just set a version which is higher than the stable version one higher very simple you just like 137 we have we were having we will make it 138 <coughs> so now it will go for the unstable version from chrome side and it will open chrome for test now let's run this and see what will happen so as per my assumption it will open just allow this chrome, google chrome for testing would like to access files in your download folder so because this is opening uh, chrome for testing so this is asking this file access so allow this and now you see that this browser is getting open and here you have the extension option so if you click on this now you can see the selectors have got installed here and you can pin it to toolbar and if you want to use or anything you wanted to do with the extension that you can do so this is how you can now enable the extension in the browser window very simple thing you have to do you just have to add this one more line of code if you have already this chrome options and the file path here then you just have to add this one line if you don't have this then these three lines of code will add the browser will add the extension in your browser automated browser window 
make sure like tomorrow let's say the chrome got updated your default chrome got updated to 138 then you will have to make it 139 here or if you find some other work around like how you open the chrome for testing then that's uh, you can use that method so basically uh, the long story short here you will have to uh, like you can use these extension in the browser automated browser window only for chrome for testing or in chromium not in the stable browser version you cannot install the extension through automate uh, like through a script hope this will help same way you can use for this for any other extension if you are using like selector sub check my links test case studio or any other plugin same method you just have to pass the file path here so let me just show you guys how you can get this selector sub file let me just delete this so here basically what you have to do you have to pass the file path here so suppose you want to get the selector sub here in your automated browser window so what you will have to do go to chrome <coughs> and uh, here you have to install one extension i will suggest crx this one let me just open uh, manage extension view in chrome store yeah so install this plugin chrome extension source viewer in your uh, browser and then open selector sub here in chrome store so when you will open chrome uh, selector sub in chrome store here you will see that crx extractor click on this and here you click on this download as zip download this file after downloading this file go to the folder and extract this and then you just have you will get this file path and that file path you will have to pass it here okay so what i will delete this and i will get this file path so i have already this one so basically how do you get this just drag and drop i got two folder here because earlier i have downloaded i will take this first one so this is the file path copy this and paste it here make sure there is no space now and then you can just run this code and you can see that here it got installed so this is how now you can install uh, selector sub in the automated browser window this is how you can get selector sub in your automated browser window so make sure that you uh, follow this these three lines of code i will also add this in the description and you can get that and i will also add this link of chrome extension crx chrome extension source viewer which will help you to get the source code of any browser plugin you just have to install it in your browser and now after that you go to that browser extension uh, open that browser ex uh, sorry open that extension in your chrome store for which you want to download the file source code okay so yeah this is the quick update going forward you have to follow these instruction to get any extension in the automated browser window so that thank you thank you so much please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on selector sub channel thank you